Hey, all my LGBT friends and others. <laughs> um, finished with um, volunteering and so got uh, averaged about, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven signatures an hour. And um, so just taking a break. And I did a video earlier, but I went over my time. So I thought I would redo it again because um, it's just something that I want wanted to um, say because I know that Lord's putting it on my, my in my mind and my heart to say um, and th when I say these things it's it's not just it's not for you guys it's also for me too um, so uh, that you don't think I'm preaching at you you know what I mean um, so it, like I've said before in my videos everybody has um, their spiritual gifts. You know, you know that there is a God, and He put you here for a reason. Um, and you know, you are here. You you have to work. You have to eat. You have to um, put a roof over your head. You know that sort of thing. And um, excuse me, um, that's you know that's just your life, right? I mean, those are things that you you have to do. But also, the Lord does talk to you through you to other people. I see that happening all the time. And um, so we need to stretch and exercise our spiritual tools. Whether the Lord's working through you, through talking, saying to you, talk to that person or that um, lady or that gentleman or, you know, or that child or, or that person working um, at the store, say something to them. And you're like, really? Now? <laughs> you know? I, I mean, that's, hap that's happened to me, you know? And I'm like, okay, well, what do I say? And then it, it'll come, uh, something will come to my mind that's not of my own words, okay? Um, and um, it could just, just be saying, uh, they, the Holy Spirit could be saying, um, just give them a smile and, and wish them a, a good day. They, they, you know, this is something that they need to hear, okay? Um, or ask them or tell them that God loves them or whatever it may be, all right? It could be a myriad of things. So you need to, you and I need to exercise these spiritual gifts. And um, I, I you know, I, I can't tell you how many times that I um, have, you know, gotten this nudge, if you will, to do it. Um, and I'm like, okay, you know, what now? And then something will come and I'll say it to the person. And then that person will just be lifted up and their whole countenance will change. Their whole person will change. It'll just... It changes the whole atmosphere, okay? And when you, as a Christian, walk in to any place, you, by your very being, being there, changes the atmosphere. By your positiveness, your light, um, your warmth to people, changes the whole atmosphere. Demons go, oh, crap, you know, ruined my day, good, <laughs> you know? They're out of there, okay, because they, they can't compete with God's power. Um, and you literally change the atmosphere. And um, so I, I wanted you to, to realize that you have to do that. And um, because you can't just praise God just on Sunday and then... Uh, you know, not work during the rest of the week. God's going to say, what were you doing for the rest of the week? Right? You're, you're, you're here for a purpose. Wh whatever your gift is, you need to use it and use it for the Lord as well as yourself. Okay? Um, so when I'm working, for example, and I'm on the, you know, video phone, I'm interpreting or whatever, I um, will smile and wish the person a good day or... You know, um, I let them talk or, um, you know, when I'm waiting for things to be happening, 
Um, I just give them a smile or uh, how's the weather, you know, whatever it may be, whatever the Lord puts on my heart to say to that person, um, you know, w staying within the policy of the workplace, of course, and all of that. Um, but I definitely see a change in them. All right. And, and that's what maybe God wants you to be doing. Okay. And then, uh, you know, like I've said before, if you're even at the grocery store and you, that per person has been standing on their feet for how long, five hours, six, seven, eight hours on their feet. Uh, they're tired, they're, you know, they're bagging your groceries, uh, you know, they're trying to be uh, cordial and, you know, uh, just an uplifting word from you to them or even just, you know, a, a God bless you or just to start the conversation, whatever the Lord puts on your heart, whatever the Holy Spirit gives you to give to that person, do it. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit and, and that goes for me too. So, yeah, so that's, that's just something that I wanted to share with you uh, that God put on my heart to, to share with you today. Um, so anyway, so uh, as I said, I finished the, uh, the volunteering thing, and that was great. Um, met some nice people, and uh, probably see them again at the gun show or whatever. I know a lot of them are going. And... Um, yeah, we have got to continue to fight and pray uh, and know that our veto against bills that were signed into law by the governor, uh, that we have a right to say, uh-uh, we're not having it. No, that's not what I put you in to do. That's not what I agree with. Let's vote on it. So I encourage the millions of gun owners out there in California to please Please go find a place to um, sign these petitions. There's only nine. It takes, you know, a few minutes of your time out of your day, you know, to sign nine bills. You just put your, your name, your signature, the date, and that's it on each one, and then you're done. And these, these signatures have to be verified. Uh, there's two, there was two important dates, um, August the 24th and September 29th. Now, if we don't get enough votes in for this November's ballot, don't be discouraged because um, if, uh, if, we, if we're, they're not verified, we have to have enough votes, okay? We have to get at least 360,000 votes, if not more, and we need more. Um, uh, and so if we get these votes, and we're not, and they're not, all the votes, all the signatures are not verified, but they will be, then we can put it on the November 18th ballot. In the meantime, that upholds the law that were signed into law, the, the, that upholds the bills that were signed into law, excuse me. Um, and um, until we have the right to vote on it, uh, November, you know, 2000. 18. That means we can still buy ammo, we can still use our guns, and you know, yada yada. All right, all the ridiculous things that he signed uh, into law. Um, and we can fight more, and we can get the word out. And so, join the NRA, join the California Rifle and Pistol Association, um, and so that they can do more advertising and and get the word out there. Okay. So that's that, and uh, yeah, so I got things to do, and <laughs> as I know you do, and so that's just what I wanted to say to you guys today, put that out there, and so yeah, get out there, get off the sofa, and go sign those petitions. All right, thanks, bye.